National Passenger Safety Week, and when it comes to road safety, it's not enough to just buckle up. Passengers being encouraged to speak up if they think a driver is being unsafe. Joining me now is Michelle Anderson, Director of Operations at the National Road Safety Foundation. It's so good to see you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. For this is such me. an important week, and really, it may seem simple to tell people to speak up if they have a, a car, they're in a car with an unsafe driver. But why do you think the message is just so important? Well, I think this message is so important because we've spoken to the driver often enough and there are still so many fatalities on our roads. However, we've never really addressed the passenger and to allow the passenger to understand that they too hold a responsibility while in a vehicle. Yeah, they have rights too. What are some signs that your driver should not be behind the wheel? I mean, when should somebody speak up? Well, the first thing you need to do is before you even get in a vehicle, a lot of times you can see some of those signs, that behavior before you even get behind the wheel. Uh, so we ask that you take a look and make sure that the driver is displaying proper behavior but if you're in the vehicle and the driver is texting or the driver is uh, speaking on the phone or speeding you have a right to say something because you want to make sure that you're going to not only protect your life but protect the life of the driver. And that's the big question, especially somebody's in a taxi, an Uber or Lyft. Really, how does a person address a stranger? I mean, how do you bring it up? What do you say? Well, I know we we first have to get past that big misconception of don't be a backseat driver. We want you to be a backseat driver. And it is a little challenging at times to say something to someone that you don't know, maybe in an Uber or a Lyft. But the thing is, you would rather to be uncomfortable than to be in a dangerous situation. And so we ask that you speak very kindly, very respectfully, don't agitate a situation, and just ask the driver, can you please not do what it is that they may be doing, or you can pull over and let me out. Mm, very good advice there. What about parents of teens who are starting to drive and maybe getting in a car with another teenager? I mean, really, what should parents do? What's the best approach? We have a wonderful, awesome website, National Passenger safety.org and on that website we have a parent checklist and on that checklist it gives you all of the tips and advice that you can use with your teen driver to prevent them from being in a situation like that that's a good way to go because sometimes it's better to ask the expert too y yes <laughs> all right well we appreciate you being here Michelle Anderson thank you so much it was so great talking thank to you, you today. for getting this message out uh, yeah thanks for the advice on all of this I think everybody could use it Thank <music> you.